Zopto is a tool that allows you to automate your LinkedIn lead generation. And in today's video, I wanna give my review of this tool. I'm gonna to go in, create a campaign, show you some stuff that Zopto can do. This is my review of Zopto, LinkedIn automation. In general, I'm not the biggest fan of automation as a whole. However, Zopto does allow you to customize messages and you can run something very similar to our cold email tests on LinkedIn using a tool like Zopto. So I love that about it. I like that it has multiple touch points. You can go in and contact your LinkedIn connections by liking their tweets as well. So you can get cross-platform that way. And there's a lot of other cool things. So let's dig into Zopto and see how it works. Zopto bills itself as a tool that has the ability to attract hundreds of hot leads by targeting your ideal customers on LinkedIn. So you open your Zopto account, filter your ideal customers and enjoy the hot leads. Let's jump in. So I have a Zopto account and inside you'll see the campaign dashboard. You got to start by connecting your LinkedIn. So I'll do that. Already pretty easy to use. I wish it saved my LinkedIn info already somehow. I don't know if from a security point of view you can do that, but I just wish it did. It's linking in with LinkedIn right now. It's getting linked in with my LinkedIn as we speak. All right, here we go. So the first thing you see is a dashboard and the dashboard will allow you to show your stats, very similar to what the cold email tools do. So let's run through this. You can create a campaign and in order to create a campaign, I'll go through one of our things that we're doing right now. A big initiative for us right now is more sponsors for the YouTube channel. We're doing that via cold email. So I'll name this after our lead list. Yeah, let's say SaaS founders list one. What I wanna do is four smaller lists to test our stats before we would scale out. Zopto will actually let you import up to 2,500 contacts, but I recommend starting way smaller, getting your numbers right, and then scaling from there. It's been reported that LinkedIn acceptance rates should be around 20%. That's what you're aiming for, or maybe even over that and the response rates should be between 10 to 15% from your messages. If that's true, then LinkedIn has the potential to be a lot better than even cold email when it comes to reaching people. So I'm actually very excited to check this out. So I named my list SaaS Founders List 1. I've got my filters, I've got my profile links. Profile links are interesting because you can take specific LinkedIn profiles. So if you wanted to use another lead generation tool that's not LinkedIn to find these LinkedIn profiles, you could, or you can also upload a CSV of the LinkedIn profiles, or you can do filters, which is what we're gonna do. So we'll go over to Sales Navigator and we'll try to find our type of company on SalesNav. LinkedIn Sales Navigator is not the best lead gen tool out there. We can try to approximate what our lead criteria is. Ideally, our sponsors are gonna be B2B software companies, I would say with over 100 employees, under 1,000 employees, so we're not getting super enterprise but they have the money to pay us. And that's that, we'll go after two different targets. I wanna go after the founder and I wanna go after somebody in either sales or marketing. And those are gonna go after the two different lists that we build. And then I wanna have two different messages going to each one of those. So we'll use Zopto for all that. So here we go, we got computer software. And this is the problem with LinkedIn sales nav. It just you can't really get more detailed than that. So I'll hit computer software and we'll pick our employee type. I'll actually go 51 to 200 all the way up to 1000. And you can start by typing a function. We'll look at either biz dev or marketing. And right now we want the owner or the partner. Save three or more accounts to receive insight and lead recommendations. I want someone like, like Mailshake, right? Got that? Mailshake. Or even someone like Zopto itself. Let's see Zopto. Doesn't come up in LinkedIn, that's okay. Mailrush, up lead, let's say yesware. So here's our lead results. We've got something I'm just gonna double check. I'm going for people around the world because why stay just in the US? Here's our 54 total results. And from here, all you have to do is grab this URL, take it over to Zopto, put it right there. Then it'll create the campaign. So now it's importing, it's fetching the list. That's great. In the meantime, because this takes a second, we'll actually create one more list here. So I'm gonna create two lists total, one is SaaS Founders, and the second one's gonna be SaaS Marketing and Sales. Cool, so the same thing, instead of owner and partner, I'm gonna go after seniority level, CXO or director or VP, business development or marketing. Same exact thing, 80,000 results, there we go. So paste that here. 
and you can only set up one campaign at a time. So that's okay, I'll leave this open so I can save the URL. Fetch is running, this will change to a different thing once it's good to go. In the meantime, we'll go over to templates and I'll show you what this looks like. So there's a couple different steps when it comes to connecting with LinkedIn that Softo covers. There's the actual invite itself. Once they accept the invite, then there is a series of messages that they get similar to a cold email sequence. And those are the two main things that you wanna look at. They have a couple invite templates, six different invite templates. I assume they don't want you to just use these off the bat. I'm gonna just use them off the bat. Hey, first name, I ran across your LinkedIn profile this morning going through my network. I must say that you have a very impressive profile. It'd be interesting to connect. This one's in, I like this one. Fill out template name, second time. I like that, create, and then I'll do one more. Let's see if another one's good. What I want is a template that doesn't look like all the other spam you get on LinkedIn, but from what I have heard about and from what I've seen in my research on LinkedIn, it's more about the list than it is about the invite text. So there's either gonna be people that are accepting you or not accepting you, and it doesn't really matter what the invite text is unless you really blow it. So I think as long as it looks normal and not spammy, we're gonna get in. And I think the best way to do that is just use one of these templates off the bat. When you're just starting a new thing, go with the best practices first, and then we can riff on it after that. So hi, first name, I ran across your LinkedIn profile this morning going through my network. Must say, you have a very impressive profile. I am just gonna take that out this morning. Is what I'm gonna call this one. This morning and second time. So there is a third type of sequence called InMail. InMail, if you don't know, is LinkedIn's premium outreach tool. And actually Sales Navigator comes with a bunch of different InMails. So you can write different InMails here. We're gonna customize these a lot more than we customized the invites. So head on back over to templates. Let me just show you what their sequences look like. Hi, first name, thanks for connecting. After noticing what you do, I thought it might be interesting to get in touch regarding a potential collab. Second message, third message. And they have a couple different versions of these but they're not actually giving specific ideas. I would not use any of these. So I'm gonna use our sponsorship cold email script that is working, and we'll start with that. So hi, first name. Heard a lot of good things about company name. The other thing I really love about LinkedIn is all of this data exists in the LinkedIn profiles. It makes it really easy. So we own a YouTube channel with over 40,000 subscribers, where we speak to business owners, marketers, and salespeople about effective ways to grow their business. Would love to have company name as a sponsor. Other companies that have advertised with us in the past include these, so always include case studies, of course. Mind if I send over some more info on the sponsorship? Thanks, let's do it. I'll say sponsorship message one. So second one in the sequence, again, going through and just making sure that it fits here. Cool, sponsorship, message two. If we're following cold email rules, I'm only gonna do a maximum of four messages. We don't wanna blast everyone. I'll put another one in here. It's their first name with a question mark, quick bump. And I'm gonna re-edit and just check all these over before they start sending, of course. And the last one, I'll leave it like this, even though it's very pandemic specific, we'll have to change this at some point. And that's gonna be the final message. And in message one, since we can't link, I'm gonna actually change this. Search Alex Berman. So I got our messages, I got our two different invites. I'm gonna focus on optimizing the invites first. And for the purposes of this review, that's all I'm gonna cover here. I'm loving this so far. In terms of a review, look how easy this was. This was very easy to set things up. So I'll come back in a second once all of this is done and we can queue up the campaigns and I'll give you my final tally. How is Zopto? I'm not seeing an easy way to A-B test here. So we'll just send with our single message. I wanna say the way that you would do it is creating multiple lists, but I'm not seeing even an easy way to limit the list. It seems like a spray and pray sort of system. So let's, let's spray it and let's pray it. Let's see how we do. So this is paused, which means it's ready to go at any time. What we can do here is also go to global settings. It's interesting that they will also let you do limits. So what are the maximum profile views? What are the maximum invites? What are the maximum Twitter likes, in mails, etc.? And I'll actually connect my Twitter as well because I wanna test the Twitter thing too. How easy is this to do? In general, it seems like a very easy tool to set up and get going. And it'll get you running large campaigns fast if that is something that you wanna do. But it also has the limits. So the way that I might A-B test this is let it run for a couple days, check the stats manually while the account's still running, then update the script manually, and then let it go from there. 
Otherwise, I wish there was a more robust A-B testing option here. Maybe I'll put it in feature suggestions. They also have this feature suggestion box. Now we play a game called Do I Know My Twitter Password? Turns out I do. Wow. Okay, so Twitter's connected. Maximum profile views, maximum likes, maximum in mails. And I'm just gonna start with the defaults here. Got our blacklist. I'm gonna have no blacklist here. I'll even review the feature suggestions page. Let's do it. It's like a little Reddit thing. That's cool. A-B testing. Right there, A-B testing. So the campaign's ready. Let's get this queued up and we'll show you how easy this is. So actions. So you can see the profiles are here. We've got the company names. We've got the first names. And it seems like a lot of it is already cleaned, which is great. However, I would recommend going through, you're gonna have to go through manually and clean out these leads, which is something I recommend. And you're gonna have this issue with all lead gen tools. If somebody's LinkedIn has a typo in it, then they're gonna get a typo in that message. And it's the same for company names, like auto 10 ticks, always something, something, something. They're writing so much here that you're gonna have to cut that out or just remove the connection. Otherwise, when you use company name, like we use in our messaging, it's gonna come off as a little spammy. So that's that. They also have the scheduling, so you can set Atlantic time, I'll set Eastern time, that's where I am. And we'll just use all the default times here. Now for each campaign, you can turn on all the things. Profile views is when it looks at their profile before it adds them. They also have scaling, so it'll auto scale up to a normal number so that you don't look like you're instantly coming in at like 50 views a day. And it'll randomize the view number. So I'll actually set it at 27 because I love the number 27. And because it's not as bot-like, if it's 27, it'll go down to like 22. It might go up to like 30 something. And that's good, Twitter likes. This seems pretty easy to use. I'm, I'm actually liking how easy it is to turn everything on. The settings and Twitter likes, it's got the maximum number of likes a day. This is different than the global settings. So I assume the global settings take priority. I think it's interesting that you can set the settings twice. Profile invites, 50 a day. Invite delay, I'll delay it in hours. Is this invite delay after the profile was viewed? Yeah, so I'll make them view the profile. Maybe they'll get a notification. Three hours later, they'll get the invite and the invite is going to be second time. Because if we don't have a chance to A-B test, then I'll just go with this one. I like this one better. And again, auto scale and randomize. So it'll start at 20 and ramp up to 50. And I'll make this 51 as well. So that's a little harder to catch. Free in mails. We're gonna skip in mails for right now. And sequence, let's put our cold email sequence, our LinkedIn message sequence in here. So you can see here we made the templates. And then it's actually like pretty easy to use here and it gives you a chance to reread the template before you send it. And then three days after step one, I'll send message two. Three days after step two, I'll send message three. And three days after that, I'll send message four. And now that all that's done, it should be pretty easy to go to campaigns and get this going. It's paused, let's do it, start. So now it's going. It's gonna start liking tweets. It's gonna start viewing profiles, sending invites, sending sequences. And then everything will play out on this dashboard. And that's that. It also has some pretty good optimization tools. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish it had more A-B testing and made that easier because what if that invite message isn't good, right? It will show the acceptance percentage and the response percentage, but I also didn't see a way to limit the list. In an ideal situation, this would be 100 people maximum. And I could get the acceptance percentage, I could get the amount that responded, and I could change the messaging from there. That was what I would want in an ideal situation. Right now though, I think for LinkedIn outreach, this is a very, very good option. And this is my recommended LinkedIn outreach tool right now. I will give it a nine out of 10. Let's talk about our results. So we ran this opto campaign just under a week. You can see our response rate was 4%, our acceptance rate was 16%, a little under what they could be. So what I wanna do is I'll pause this one. I'm gonna update these campaigns, probably keep Zopto running, but what we got from the last six days were two interested leads, two SaaS founders that responded and wanted more information about our services. It's very interesting. I like that it runs on autopilot. I hate that it's a little bit too automated. In the future, maybe I wanna customize it a little bit more, but it seems like LinkedIn might punish the customization. It seems like LinkedIn wants you, especially for these acceptance messages to not customize it and send a very similar thing to everyone. 
In general, I like it. I like that it's just going in the background and you don't really have to mess with it. It's liking stuff on Twitter. It's very interesting. So nine out of 10, good job Zopto. Recommended if you're trying to get more leads from LinkedIn. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Alex Berman. Subscribe for more content like this, more tech reviews, more things about B2B selling, how to improve your company and your life. So give this video a like to encourage the YouTube algorithm. Comment below. What do you think about Zopto? And I will see you later. We do videos three times a week and I look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.